Wild Buns. I'm here in the forest today and I'm hoping to get totally drenched. I'm here today with my Lanshan Pro 1 and I want to test it out in some really terrible weather. So I've used it in terrible weather before up in Wales and it did let a puddle of water in but I did the seams on my floor in a rush and missed most of the seams actually so it's no surprise that it leaked. So I've redone the seams now and I'm hoping that I've got it watertight because I really love the tent otherwise and I just want to test it out before I take it on a longer trip again. So let's get this tent up and we'll see how it does. The tent is up, it's lovely in here. I am on a bit of a slope, but that's okay. I don't mind being on a little slope. It has made the tent a little bit wonky donkey, but that's okay. So I've bought a bivy bag today to cover my sleeping bag. That is in case the tent leaks again, which I'm hoping it won't. But even if it doesn't, there will be condensation in the morning being a single skin tent. And the bivy bag will just keep my sleeping bag nice and dry against the walls of the tent. So I've got my Outkit Hunker bivy today. It's not the XL version, just the regular. The Outkit bags, in my experience, are amazing and I've never let any water in. They're great. Now we just wait, I guess. And look at this view I've got. It's beautiful. Lunch jacks are out. Right, I'm gonna get some food going before this rain comes in. just skidding around everywhere in the end with it being on a slope sort of kept trying to whoosh out the doorway i've got this as well on hand tonight just a microfiber towel in case the tent does leak tonight and also in the morning when i'm cooking breakfast and i want to have the door open i can just put it along the front in case any rain comes in i'm hoping it is gonna rain so yeah i'm gonna get a nice hot drink on and get ready for bed the rain started Exciting. I'm gonna get some sleep now and hopefully won't be in a puddle in the morning. Terrible night's sleep. <laughs> now, for the moment of truth, Let's see what we're dealing with here. Uh, that. I don't mind puddles on the outside. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Right. <laughs> That's just all coming in the mesh though. Oh, yeah. Look, looking in this corner and stuff. That's where the puddle was last time. And it's dry now. But now I've got a massive puddle down here because it's just come from the other side. I let all the water in. I don't know why. That's sagging like that anyway. Because it. Wasn't doing that last night. It's a bit weird, isn't it? God, look at this. Look, it's building up again. I'm gonna have to go out there and have a look, see why that's happening. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna send the GoPro out and a stick. Show us what's going on, GoPro. It's so cramped in here now because of that thing. There's another one there. 
So I'm having another wet time in this tent, although for different reasons. It's not leaking. It's like two little ponds on the tent. How nice. I am so tired this morning. I think I've had less than an hour of sleep. But that's my fault because I pitched on a slope. I thought it'd be alright because I wanted this view. That's why I pitched here. And I've got this beautiful view, so it's not all bad. But yeah, I could not find a comfortable place to lay last night at all. I was just sliding around everywhere. And these things hanging down have been a bit of a nightmare. But yeah, it's fine. I'm just making some breakfast. And um, yeah, then we'll go out and have a look around the back and see what's happened. But again, I think that's because I've pitched on a slope and the tent's kind of... A funny angle it's collecting water on the outside so lesson learned so my bivy bag just slipped down past my bum and ended up sitting in a puddle in my down bag so it's gone all through my bag and I'm all wet now oh you know I can't get on with this tent in the rain so far hmm I don't understand what's happened here. Yeah, look, okay, so this has come off the peg for some reason, um, and that's why it's pulled over there. And what I did earlier, I pushed it from the inside, sort of pushed it off the tent, and it all came in through the mesh. Right guys, I'm gonna get packed up, get out of here. That was another uncomfortable wet night in the Lanshan. Absolutely love this tent, apart from in the rain. I'm struggling to like it in the rain. I have comfortable, warm, dry nights under tarps in the rain, and I cannot get on with this tent in the rain. So this one's user error. I pitched on a slope and it's made puddles on the outside, which have then come in through the mesh. But you know, hiking, which is what I bought this tent for, my long trips where I need to be lightweight, you are sometimes having to camp on slopes and stuff because you've got to use what's available to you. And it's so difficult to do anything in it in the mornings because the insides are covered in condensation. The floor, in my experience so far, has been covered in puddles and you're just sort of like, there's just wetness everywhere, which is horrible when you're camping, when you're in your tent, you want it to be dry. But on the plus side, the seams are waterproof. Nothing was coming in through the seams. So technically the tent should be watertight now. It's just a puddle issue, which is my fault for sleeping on a slope. But that is probably gonna happen sometimes out and about. So I don't know. I'm gonna get packed up guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.